Africa is sometimes referred to as the mother continent, as it's the oldest inhabited continent on Earth. The African continent has a unique place in human history. Did you know that humans and their ancestors have lived in Africa for more than 5 million years? There are many relics and discoveries in Africa that date back millions of years ago. Sadly, the majority of people's ideas of Africa are limited to reports of violence and extreme poverty. Africa is home to wonderful tourist destinations, amazing natural resources, and welcoming people. However, there are also some aspects of this continent that are strange, mysterious, and sometimes terrifying. In Africa, several unusual objects have been discovered, and it's unclear how they came to be or how they work. Africa is the second largest and second most populated continent in the world. It is hardly surprising that a wide variety of unusual objects have been discovered buried within the bounds of the Black Continent, given its huge size. Join us as we discover some 20 amazing, frightening, and very unusual discoveries made in Africa. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Imagine you come across a whale shark when you're swimming. Would your first instinct be to get out of the water, or would you enjoy the company of these beautiful creatures? Well, you don't have to imagine anymore. You can have this experience for yourself. The coast of Djibouti is frequently visited by whale sharks, the largest fish known to man. This makes a nation an ideal location for swimming with whale sharks. Djibouti is one of the best spots in the world to watch whale sharks from November to January. Whale sharks can look scary because of their size, but they are completely harmless to humans. You can swim and snorkel with these gentle giants as they travel to the area near Ras Aero and Arta Beach to feed on the abundant plankton there. Stonehenge is the unmistakable structure that unquestionably rules the history books when people think of megalithic structures. For hundreds of years, the well-known stone circle has captivated both historians and the general public. But the construction of stone circles is a common occurrence. Stone circles are prevalent in many parts of the world. One of them is present in Africa, more notably in Morocco. Like Stonehenge, the Mazura stone circle is still a mystery. Manzora is Arabic for holy place. The region is not far from Tangier and is located around 15 kilometers south of the port of Asila. A total of 167 stone monoliths, the tallest of which is around 5 meters high, surround the 55 meter diameter elliptical tumulus at Manzora. Some frogs are only the size of a thumbnail, but the Goliath frog of Cameroon can grow to a length of 34 centimeters and weigh up to 3.3 kilograms. A few of them are as big as house cats. Southwest Cameroon secondary forests, farms, and swift-moving rivers are home to the endemic Goliath frog. Even though these enormous frogs have existed for longer than humans, very little is known about them. These animals are unfortunately in danger of extinction, and scientists are researching and discovering new information about them. They believe that by learning more, they will be better able to conserve this extraordinary frog. Just when you thought that geologists had uncovered every kind of stone and rock in existence, scientists found a blue stone in Sierra Leone, a country in West Africa. A mystery blue stone was found in soil dating back to 12,000 BC in 1990 by geologist and archaeologist Angelo Petoni. No one was able to identify the appropriately named sky blue stone despite the pieces being sent to laboratories in Germany, Rome, Utrecht, Geneva, and Tokyo. They could all agree, however, that it was unlike anything they had ever seen, and consequently, that it had nothing in common with any rock. What they did discover is that it has a comparable chemical makeup to manufactured goods like stucco or concrete, since it contains oxygen, sodium, calcium, carbon, and silicon. Given that the mystery stone appears to only have emerged from soil strata that date to around 12,000 BC, it may be a remnant of an undiscovered ancient civilization.
twins are a common fantasy for some women, although this fantasy rarely comes true. However, your chances of having twins are substantially higher if you are a native of Benin. The small West African nation of Benin has a higher concentration of twins than any other country in the developing world. Researchers found that Benin had a rate of 27.9 twins per 1,000 births. The global average among the countries surveyed was 13.1 twins per 1,000 births. Due to the widespread notion that fish offer protection against evil, fish motifs are frequently used in Tunisia. Fish tails or bones from fish would frequently be embedded in brand new structures. Cars are also included in this ritual. Some people attach colorful fishes to their cars in the form of cloth or plastic. With this, they believe that passengers are protected. The Earth has been home to millions of unique and beautiful creatures for over 4.5 billion years, and possibly much longer. We humans frequently wonder where, how, or when we came into being. Fortunately, we are sometimes able to answer some of these questions through discoveries and research. The skeleton of Lucy, a hominid who lived about 3.2 million years ago, was discovered in 1974 and is thought to be a common ancestor of a human family. This astounding discovery occurred in Haidar, Ethiopia. Years later, paleontologist Mary Leakey and her team also discovered in Tanzania a 165-foot trail that showed the oldest conclusive evidence of upright walking by the earliest hominid through footprints that dated back to 3.7 million years ago. North Africa and the African Mediterranean region are where the evil eye is believed to have first appeared. The evil eye is commonly believed to cause misfortune or damage, especially to those who are already weak or ill. The evil eye has been around for almost 5,000 years and this familiar image is found in many different religions and cultures, but it is particularly prominent in witchcraft. In Morocco, it is typical for men and boys to add brilliant red eyes to the backs of their cloaks in order to reflect and project the appearance of an evil eye. Unidentified bare areas known as fairy circles have been observed in Namibia's sandy desert grasslands. Years later, the circles would suddenly appear and then vanish. The circles might occasionally last a lifetime. Once formed, smaller fairy rings typically last 24 years, although bigger ones might last up to 75 years. Looking at the circles, one might think they represent underground harvest termite nests. However, Excavations have revealed no evidence of termite nests beneath fairy circles, and no other theories have provided an acceptable explanation for this occurrence. One of the biggest mysteries in Kenya is the Gedi Ruins. This African city's foundation was made completely of coral stones, sand, and lime. The existence of drainage gutters in this place is remarkable. The lost town is encircled by a thick forest, and it is thought that some Phoenicians and Egyptians were responsible for building it. This was before they became stuck on the coast of Africa. A group of terracotta heads known as the Leidenberg Heads was found in South Africa's eastern Transvaal. One of the heads has been dated to around 500 AD while the rest are thought to be from the same time frame. One of the most amazing aspects of the Leidenberg heads is that they are the earliest known examples of Iron Age art south of the equator. They are currently on exhibit in the National Museum in Cape Town and are regarded as a national treasure in South Africa. Scarification marks or scars created to form patterns on the forehead, between the eyes, and temples can be found by these artifacts. Six of the heads are human, while the seventh is a replica of an animal. Great Zimbabwe was a medieval African city distinguished by its large circular wall and tower. 
From the 11th to the 15th century CE, it was part of a wealthy African trading empire that ruled much of the East African coast. These stunning ruins are located in Zimbabwe, Southern Africa, and cover approximately 385,000 square miles. It is a tourist attraction with approximately 500 structures. The structures were made of rock and connected in an unknown way. The most intriguing feature of them is the lack of windows or doors, which allowed ancient African tribes to live in them. The Ashun Asa Bo Sacred Grove can be found on the outskirts of the southern Nigerian city of Asarbo. Several ancient, puzzling, odd-looking sculptures are hidden in the dense forest. The structures have bizarre features and enormous eyes. The grove is believed to be the sanctuary of the Yoruba god Ashun, the goddess of fertility. Monkeys and shrines are also likely to be found. The grove's creation is still a mystery. The ancient West African nation of Mauritania is home to this enormous and weird wonder of Africa, the Eye of the Sahara, often known as the Big Blue Eye of Africa, is thought to be more than 100 million years old. It resembles a stunning blue circle. Some claim that the mystery was developed as a result of an erosional process or a volcanic outburst. It was described by a different team of researchers as a hole created when God flooded the earth with water during Noah's time. In addition to being the most well-known of Egypt's pyramids, the Great Pyramid of Giza is also the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world that still exists. The methods employed to build the Egyptian pyramids are one of the greatest mysteries in archaeology. The Great Pyramid of Giza was constructed using more than two million limestone and granite stones, making the astonishing feat of the Egyptians all the more amazing. The structures, which were built by Egyptians who lived in a nearby city, are incredibly spectacular. The structures give clear evidence of the community's wealth and resources and efficiency. The ability to erect the buildings, though, is still a mystery. A mysterious tomb was discovered in Egypt in 1907. The tomb, known as KV-55, contained several items as well as a body. The fact that the items appear to belong to numerous distinct people has made it difficult to identify the remains. It has been speculated that the tomb was built quickly and that the person buried there had already been laid somewhere else. It is thought to have carried Tutankhamun's seal. However, these assertions have not been proven. Tutankhamun is said to have been buried nearby, but his tomb wasn't found until decades later. The tomb was closed to keep the mummy within. The mummy was extensively desecrated and was exhibited as a lady. However, it was eventually found out that it was a man. Situated in the Riviere Nord district of Mauritius, the seven-colored earth of Chamorel is a popular tourist destination in the world. The area is covered in beautiful dune fields of seven different colors. It is thought to have formed as a result of a volcanic eruption. The seven-colored earth site, a strange and unusual phenomenon, became a major attraction in the early days of tourism on the island in the 1960s. The dunes can grow to be up to 15 meters thick and contain remnants of ancient geoclimatic activity. It is believed that it was formed as a result of a volcanic eruption. For many years, scholars have paid close attention to the bronzes from Igbo Ukwu because of their elaborate designs and symbolism, as well as the technical skill needed to make them. It's breathtaking to see these antique stones. They exhibit high levels of artistic and technical proficiency. It was initially found in 1939 by Isaiah Anozi. He shared the things he had found with his friends and neighbors, even though he was curious about their significance. Some of the least favorite animals on the earth are snakes. The majority of people fear these cunning reptiles. However, what could be more frightening than a two-headed snake? In South Africa, 
a two-headed snake that is highly rare was recently discovered. Although they exist, two-headed snakes are extremely uncommon. According to earlier research, each head presumably contains a separate functional brain, much like conjoined twins. It can be exceedingly challenging for reptiles with this abnormality because, in essence, they are two different snakes sharing a single body. Lake Natron is located in Tanzania's northern region. This unusual lake is like nothing you have ever seen or heard before. One of the many unique features of Lake Natron is its ability to occasionally turn red. However, the most unique and somewhat frightening quality of this lake is its ability to transform creatures into stones. According to researchers, the water is rich in salt and is thought to have an alkalinity of up to 10.5%. Any creatures that come into contact with the water, as a result experience calcification and turn to stone. That sums up our video for the day. If you enjoyed this video, watch also the next video on your screen, which looks into the mysterious discoveries in Africa that no one can explain. Be sure to leave a comment, give the video a like, and subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos.